No, I must say, I'm very grateful you've come over. Um, big fans of all the Irish stuff. Um, <laughs> yep, yeah, I love your pop music. Enya and uh, the other one ripped up the Pope. Bald chap. <laughs> and I think that's it. Well, it's you, you too, of course. Yeah, you you, well, yeah, oh, fantastic. Sunday, bloody Sunday. What a great... It really encapsulates the frustration of a Sunday, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you, you wake up in the morning, you, you, you've got to read all the Sunday papers, the kids are running round, you've got to mow the lawn, wash the car, and you think, Sunday, bloody Sunday. <laughs> I really hate to do this to you, Alan, but it's, a, it's actually a song about... Yeah, Bloody Sunday is actually about a massacre in Derry in 1972. Massacre? Ugh, not playing that again. <laughs> you ever been to Ireland, Alan? No, no, I'd love to go. <laughs> it amazes me when people say that and it's only 49 quid on a plane. Yeah, I think that's what puts me off. <laughs> well, that's the small talk. Now let's get down to business. Now, your programme. What's the big idea? Well, the, uh, the big idea is that we want to produce a show that appeals to modern, mainstream audiences on both sides of the Irish Sea. Oh, scary Irish man. Would you like to recruit me? I like your berets. They're worn by Saddam Hussein. Frank Spencer. French. Don't baggage responsible to celebrate the culture of both countries. Yeah, I, I, I think the Irish are going through a major image change. I mean, the old image of leprechauns, shamrock, Guinness, yeah, yeah, yeah. horses running through council estates, you know, <laughs> toothless simpletons, <laughs> people with eyebrows on their cheeks, <laughs> badly tarmacked drives in this country. Uh, men in platform shoes being arrested for bombings, <laughs> lots of rocks, and uh, Beamish. I, I, think, I think people are, are saying, yes, there's more to Ireland than this. Yeah. A good slogan for the tourist board. There's more to Ireland than this. <laughs> so, uh, how many people were uh, killed in the Irish famine? Um... Two, two million and another two million had to leave the country. Right. I mean, if it was just the potatoes that were affected, at the end of the day, you will pay the price if you're a fussy eater. <laughs> if they could afford to emigrate, then they could afford to eat in a modest restaurant. <laughs> could we come live from the Blarney Stone? I'm trying to get an angle on this. See, Alan, I, I think you're increasingly moving towards an area we want to move away from. Yep, you're absolutely right. Live TV can blow up in your face. Sorry about that. You must be, uh, you must be sick of that. Of what? You know, being blown up, bombs. I'm from Dublin, not in Dublin. We're from Dublin. Oh, right. but that's where you make them. <laughs> very, very clever men, both very clever men, but I don't trust them. Uh, Jerry Adams looks like a deputy headmaster, and uh, Martin McGuinness looks like a clown without makeup. <laughs> so, uh, 